Don't be intimidated by the medicine ball. It's a great tool to strengthen your entire body and it's easy to incorporate into your workouts. Today, I'm gonna to show you five great moves that you can do with the med ball. Depending on your fitness level, you wanna use a medicine ball that's between six and 12 pounds. Beginners start with six and then you can progress from there. So our first exercise is gonna be a med ball crunch and toss. So we're gonna be using the med ball in the hands as a little bit of resistance. You wanna start on your back. Your knees are gonna be bent, feet on the floor. Gonna have the arms extend up overhead. Gently touch the medicine ball down to the ground. As you come up, you're gonna bring it up, toss it towards the sky, catch, slowly roll back down. Slowly roll down. Peel up, toss, slowly roll down. Next, we have a medicine ball push-up. So we're gonna be alternating between the left and right arm during the medicine ball push-up. You wanna go on your toes and hands. You want your hands about shoulder width apart, a little bit wider. You're gonna go down for a push-up, one hand on the medicine ball, one hand on the floor. Drop it down, come up, you're gonna switch. Bring your hand up and you're alternating. Abs are tight, don't let that butt sink towards the ground. Push off that ball, back and forth. And you're getting a lot of work in there in the shoulders and the core. If you need a modification for this one, you can always do the push-up from your knees. If you feel that your wrists are a little bit weak for that push-up, you can strengthen working that core, just tossing that ball side to side and working on strengthening that wrist and forearm grip. Next, we have a medicine ball bridge. So this is where your feet are gonna be on top of the medicine ball and you're gonna be laying flat on your back. Now you have an unstable surface area, so that's what makes this challenging. You want your feet on the ball. You wanna tighten those knees together. Keep those knees together. You're gonna to keep yourself flat on the floor, hands to the floor for stability. You're gonna lift those hips, pressing down into the ball. Lift those hips, squeeze the glutes, come up as high as you can and then slowly lower back down to the floor. You wanna really use those hamstrings and those glutes, low back, pressing through that ball, lift those hips, and then lower down slowly. Next, we have a split lunge and med ball slam. So we're gonna be working the lower body, core stability, and upper body. This is a total body exercise. You wanna start in a split lunge, so you're gonna drop that back knee. You want that front knee to stay behind that front toe. You've got all the weight on that front heel. All right, now core is stabilizing. Keep an upright posture, slightly bend from the waist. Arms come up overhead. You're gonna slam it into the ground right in front of that toe. Raise it up, slam it down. If you wanna advance this move, you can add a plyometric and switch feet in between each slam. Just like this. Overhead. Next, we have a med ball rotational slam. This is a total body exercise. You're gonna be working your shoulders, your core, especially your obliques, and your hips. So you wanna start with your feet about shoulder width apart. Okay, that's gonna give you a good base of support. When you lower down, you wanna make sure that you bend those knees and pivot those feet. You're gonna bring the ball up over the head like a rainbow, pivot the foot, drop it into the ground, bring it back up overhead, pivot the foot, drop the hips, and alternate. And once you go through about 10 on each side, you get 20 total, your heart rate's up, your hips are working, your abs, everything's fired up. I hope I've inspired you to use the medicine ball in your next workout. Let me know what your favorite move is in the comments. Thanks for watching Fit Sugar TV.